Virtual reality is one of the top subjects at this year's CBIT in Hanover. Virtual reality glasses allow you to immerse yourself in any situation and experience it up close. The Japanese company Cerevo is now not only exhibiting glasses, but also shoes, with which the virtual experience is particularly intense. We developed um, a game as an example, and uh, this is like an adventure game. And as you walk on the ground, you're supposed to feel a different sense of touch on the ground. For example, uh, you feel the snow, water, sand, electricity. Virtual reality is not only suited to gaming, it is also used increasingly often in industry and medicine. The Research Institute at Heilbronn University is developing a virtual reality system for the therapy of phobias. We're talking about a variety of phobias that we could have. One example is a fear of heights, and with this setup we can not only display the VR graphically, we can also physically simulate movements by sliding over the virtualizer here to move along. Virtual reality applications generate high data volumes that have to be handled sensibly. The Fraunhofer Institute has developed a solution for that. It's about making image generation as efficient as possible and in such a way that we can use it directly on all sorts of different devices. For example on a desktop device or a mobile phone. People are using more and more head-mounted displays and virtual reality glasses that are now available for not much money. And so now we're making the software for it which makes using these VR glasses with large data volumes really affordable. Virtual reality at CBIT 2017. Already reality today.